Chinese electric vehicles are rapidly establishing a presence worldwide. Companies like BYD, NIO, and Xpeng are just a few of China's noteworthy automotive brands, offering advanced technology and competitive pricing that are hard to beat. But what's driving this surge in popularity, and why are Chinese EVs dominating the market? Also, are Americans missing out on the EV revolution led by China? And how are traditional automakers going to respond to this shift? First, it's important to understand the three key drivers behind China's booming EV market, government support, technological innovation, and economies of scale. The Chinese government has been heavily subsidizing its domestic EV industry providing incentives for both manufacturers and consumers. This has led to a significant increase in EV production and adoption within China. Chinese EV makers are at the forefront of technology, offering features like advanced battery systems, autonomous driving capabilities, and smart connectivity. These innovations make Chinese EVs highly attractive to tech-savvy consumers. China's vast manufacturing capabilities allow for large-scale production, which reduces costs. This means that Chinese EVs can be sold at competitive prices, making them accessible to a broader audience. EV production capacity in China continues to expand rapidly, despite being vastly larger than domestic demand. This situation is raising concerns that Chinese manufacturers will export vehicles abroad at cutthroat discounts. The break-even point for factory utilization in the automotive industry is usually around 80%. But the level for new energy vehicles, as China calls them, which includes EVs, is only around 50%. Several emerging EV makers have already gone bankrupt due to overcapacity in the industry. So what's the impact of Chinese EVs on the global market? In Europe, for instance, Chinese EVs are making significant inroads. As Europe aims to meet its net zero targets, affordable and efficient Chinese EVs are becoming an appealing option for many consumers. In fact, China-made vehicles are expected to make up a quarter of Europe's EV sales this year. European automakers are feeling the pressure. Companies like Volkswagen, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz are ramping up their EV efforts, but the competition from Chinese brands is fierce. The key question is whether traditional automakers can innovate quickly enough to keep up. So what about the United States? Are Americans missing out on this EV revolution? The short answer is yes, to some extent. Geopolitical tensions and concerns about data security have made it challenging for Chinese EV makers to enter the U.S. market. However, industry leaders argue that not all Chinese companies should be viewed through the same lens. At the 2024 Millikan Institute Global Conference, Stella Lee, CEO of BYD Americas, emphasized that BYD is different from companies like TikTok and Huawei. She argued that it's unfair to automatically associate a Chinese company with the Chinese government, highlighting the impact of geopolitics on the EV market. This point is particularly relevant considering recent actions taken by the U.S. government. President Joe Biden has recently imposed a 100% tariff on Chinese-made EVs, citing national security concerns. This is up from a previous import tax of 25%. These tariffs make it more difficult for Chinese EVs to compete in the U.S. market, further limiting their presence. But these moves aren't going to stop the Chinese from penetrating the U.S. market. It's just a matter of time before they figure out how to crack the market. Automotive and trade experts say the increased tariffs are a near-term protectionist act. There are loopholes for imports made by Chinese automakers in other countries, like neighboring Mexico. We covered this in a previous video, so check out the link for more on that. So there is still an opportunity for often cheap Chinese models to undercut domestic auto prices. Western automakers and suppliers really need to step up their game and prepare to compete with the Chinese. Interestingly, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has opposed tariffs on Chinese EVs. He argues that these tariffs are counterproductive and hinder the overall growth of the EV market. He believes that open competition will drive innovation and benefit consumers in the long run. The U.S. has also banned TikTok, the immensely popular social media platform owned by Chinese company ByteDance, due to fears over data security and potential Chinese government influence. 
Similarly, equipment sales and imports from Chinese telecom giants Huawei and ZTE have been restricted over national security risks. These actions reflect a broader trend of skepticism towards Chinese technology and its potential ties to the Chinese government. On social media, Chinese EVs are generating a lot of buzz. Platforms like TikTok and WeChat are flooded with videos and posts showcasing the latest models and their features. This social media presence is helping to build a global fan base and increase awareness of Chinese EVs capabilities. Two of the most popular China-made vehicles are the BYD Dolphin and Addo 3. The Dolphin, with its compact design and impressive range, has become a favorite among urban drivers. Its affordability and advanced features make it a strong competitor in the global market. We test drove the BYD Addo 3 in Germany and Austria last fall and were left quite impressed with it. The compact Chinese-made SUV exhibited very good driving characteristics and range and a variety of connected features that really added to the driving experience. These models exemplify why Chinese EVs are gaining popularity. They offer a compelling combination of affordability, innovation, and quality that appeals to a wide range of consumers. But there's another component to consider. That's the politicization of EVs in American politics. The debate around electric vehicles isn't just about technology and market competition. It is also deeply tied to political agendas. Former U.S. President Donald Trump has been vocal in his opposition to electric vehicles, positioning himself against President Joe Biden's EV policies. In Michigan, which is considered a political swing state, Trump has used strong rhetoric to rally support against Biden's push for EV adoption, arguing that it threatens American jobs and the traditional auto industry. This politicization impacts how EVs are perceived in the U.S. and adds another barrier for Chinese EV makers trying to enter the market. The combination of national security concerns, economic protectionism, and political opposition creates a complex landscape for Chinese automakers to navigate. Chinese EVs are indeed making a significant impact on the global automotive industry. While Americans might be missing out for now, the automotive landscape is shifting rapidly and China will be a major factor in that shift. As always, thanks for watching this video and for more on clean tech, e-mobility and sustainability, make sure that you like and that you're subscribed to cleanearth.io.